Look at this bad boy. This one wants us to solve without using a calculator. Okay, so this one's quite interesting. So what I would do here is, okay, there's multiple ways you could do this. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, maths is beautiful because we don't have to have the exact way we're going to do it. Um, it'll all work out. So like if you just obviously don't make any ma like big, ma there's always, what I'm trying to say is there's always multiple ways we could start. There's not one way. So one of the things I would like to maybe try is I'm going to break all of these up to become the same as this one. So what do you mean, Kev? Well, what I mean is the following. I want to change it to 7 to the 2008 and then 7 to the 3 because that still gives me 2011 if I add those together. So I haven't changed anything. I've just written it differently. And then this one will be 2008 and 7 to the 1. And then at the bottom, I'm just going to leave that as that for now. Okay. And then I'm just going to leave this random little thing over there. Right. Now, I know that if you, for example, have x to the 10 inside here, the answer becomes x to the 5 because the exponent rule tells us that you must take this number and divide it by whatever's here. If they don't show you anything, then it's a 2. Now, if I have, for example, x to the 10 and y to the 7, well, then I can't do anything with the y because that's 7, and 7 divided by 2 is not a nice number. So then you would just take the x5 out and then leave the y7 on the inside. So then what can we do here, guys? Well, we can't do anything with the 7 to the 3 because we can't really divide um, 3 by 2, but we can take out this part. So that'll become 7 to the 1004, and then on the inside we're just going to have a square root 7 to the 3. Okay? Some people might say, sir, can't we change this to 7 to the 2 and 7 to the 1? Yes, you can, and maybe that would be a better approach, but I can't tell from the beginning. I need to start solving, and then it'll start becoming clearer as I start solving what the best option is. Trust me, even though I've been doing maths for so long, you don't just, you have a, it gives me a guideline of what to do, but I can't look at a question and be like, okay, no, definitely we're going to have to do it like that. Okay, and then this one is just going to become 7 to the 1004. Cool. Now, things are going to cancel out by using the method I'm using now anyways, and then we can carry on after that if we need to and cancel out a little bit more. I'm just trying to cancel big parts for now. That's how I do maths. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to realize that I can take out a 7 to the 104 um, as a common factor, and then you're going to be left with um, 7 to the 1004 as a common factor, and we're then going to be left with 7 square root 3 minus square root 7 over 7 to the 104, and then plus square root 7, and then squared. Now, these parts can now cancel, and so now we've significantly made the, we, we, we've cut out a big part of the question, which is nice. Maybe we could have done things a lot better. If I look back now, I think um, there's more I could have done earlier on to make the solving faster, but don't worry, we're still going to carry on. And we're still going to get to the same answer. Okay, so that is what we have left over at the moment. And so what we can now realize is that this minus square root 7 and this plus square root 7, that can obviously cancel. And so what we now have is that over there. Now, what we could do, there's multiple things we can do. Um, we could use a double bracket if you want. Uh, oh, there's so many things we can do here. So for example, we could say, we could say three divided by two. I know we said we shouldn't do that over here, but now it's okay to do it um, because this next part's gonna be really easy. We can do that. And then that's to the power of two. And then you can multiply these two things together. And that's just gonna give you seven to the power of three so you can just leave it like that as your final answer. 